up guys welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is Phil in case you're clicking this video for the first time you are much welcome so in today's video we are making this yummy meatball stew it's packed with flavor you guys this one is a winner it's packed with vegetables and as you can see the gravy looks so amazing this one you can serve with some rice some chapati or ugali and I tell you it's so so comforting this one is perfect for family dinner or even family lunch so without saying more let's get started okay guys so for the first step we're going to do is to prepare our meatballs so here i have 400 grams minced beef you can use any meat you want so i've just added my spices you're going to mix that well just using your hands and once you're done we are going to form the meatballs so i'm just cooking about one tablespoon of the minced beef and then just using my hands i'm going to roll this to form small meatballs so this is the size that we want once you're done roll the meatball on flour make sure all the sides is coated with the flour so the reason why i'm rolling the meatballs in the flour is to help them not fall apart and as you noticed i never used breadcrumbs or eggs to make the meatballs so this is just another alternative for those people who don't like breadcrumbs or eggs in their meatballs and also coating them in the flour helps them brown very very well when they are being fried so quickly let's prepare our vegetables so for this recipe i'm using green beans you'll go ahead and roughly chop them once you're done you'll put that aside also for this recipe i'm using a white onion you can use red onions if you have you'll go ahead as well and chop that nicely once you're done you'll put that aside so also for this recipe i'm using garlic so i'm using two garlic cloves just using a grater you'll grate that once you're done put it aside now let's prepare our potatoes so i've just peel them and then you'll just nicely cube them as you can see the way i'm doing it here so i forgot to mention so for the full recipe remember to get it on the description box down below and if you're new to this channel you're much welcome so here i have two medium tomatoes i've just blended them and then for also for this recipe we will use green peas so now let's get cooking in your pan you will add oil so we are going to fry the meatballs so you just put the meatballs in your pan and then you're going to fry this for about four to five minutes while turning until they are nicely browned on all sides and our meatballs are ready at this point as you can see they have nicely browned and i tell you they smell so amazing so don't even be tempted to eat one until you finish cooking them so just remove them from the pan and in the same pan you're going to add the chopped onions saute that for a minute and then you're also going to add the grated garlic you're going to saute this for about a minute or two until the onions are fragrant and then here i'm just adding a tablespoon of all-purpose flour so this is just to make the sauce be thick so you're going to cook that until all the onions are nicely browned so next i'm adding the meatballs so you're going to mix everything together while cooking for about a minute or two now let's add our vegetables so you'll add the green beans the peas the potatoes and the blended tomatoes you're going to mix this well until everything is nicely incorporated and once you're done we're going to add water so for this recipe i'm using two cups of water so this is just to allow the vegetables to cook so you'll go ahead and mix everything together and as you can see our sauce is thick and let me tell you this is because we use the flour so flour is a game changer for this recipe so now let's season our stew so you just go ahead and add the spices remember i've listed everything in the description box down below go ahead and mix everything well and then you're just going to let this cook so you'll just cover your pan with the lid and then you let this cook over low heat for about five minutes just to let all that vegetables cook well and as you can see our stew is ready and look at that sauce guys it looks so yummy so you'll just go ahead and serve it while it's still hot so i like serving this for dinner when the family or friends are around i tell you everyone enjoys this meal i always serve it with some spaghetti you can serve it with some rice chapati or even ugali if you want i tell you it tastes so amazing cook it for the family everyone will fall in love with this and 
and that's all we're making today guys thanks so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i hope you're going to try this recipe and as usual don't forget to tell me how yours came out in the comment section down below i want to thank everyone who has subscribed to this channel everyone following everyone making my recipes thank you so much for more of my amazing recipes remember to get me on instagram at fields underscore kitchen or also on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so till my next video bye